Well, it's day 263 of my snake diet multiverse thingy me jiggle in which I've done absolutely appallingly rubbishly bad. So that's it. It's really bad, it's really bad. I've still been checking my weight in that. But it's bad. So let me just have a look. I was stuck. What? What's that? Don't think I'll... Oh yeah, that's what I was doing, me and Amy's thing. Just, uh, I was looking at her way thinking, oh, I never got that down. Right, so basically, since day two, I've been stuck between 290 and 300 pounds. I haven't been able to get down. And then that was all the way do to do, just give me a second, maybe I should have done this before I started. Oh yeah, that was all the way until day 202, in which I hit 314 pounds. And then between 202 and day 232, so, 30 day, we're in that 30 day period, I was doing all right. Oh, actually, yeah. Doing all right in a 35 day period. And then I hit 30, 325 pounds, I can lose that weight. And I've been at 325 pounds from two, day 235 to today at day 263. Bouncing around between 320 and 325, pretty much. And today I'm 324.2, but I was 324.2 on day 257 as well. So, yeah, terrible. A um, couple of excuses, because we all need excuses. One of those excuses were went to the doctors and stuff like that. Even when I went up the weights and stuff. And they said, oh, you're very healthy. Um, you've got no diabetes or anything like that. Lies of blah, blah, blah. You know, you're really cool and all that stuff. I have a sneaky feeling that they're lying to me because the doctors around here, the actual doctors themselves, they've been lying to people. Like, they lied to my young. They lied to a couple of people on the street and they're saying they haven't got this and they haven't got that when they have. They've been to other doctors and they're all not the private doctors like... I want to get my young to a private doctor, but it might be beyond my um, uh, money-wise. I'd like to go to a private doctor, but, you know, the fact is, just they told me that, you know, there's nothing wrong with me. Even though I can feel it, my coordination is going, my brain's going all crispy, my memory's disappearing, you know, my toes are killing me. You know, my toes only really hurt me when I get that diabetes thing, so... <sighs> but I'm letting myself... Um, believe what the doctors say, uh, and give me a false sense of security. Saying, oh no, you don't need to lose weight to be, to be healthy. You're already healthy. Even I know the full of shit. That's pretty much what it that is. So I'm letting myself believe the doctors, just so I can eat. Basically, I've just got this like a bit of something. And then you've got the TV and stuff. You can't be fat ashamed no more, because in the olden days, the best way for me to lose weight is to get really depressed about it. People say, oh, you've put weight on you, aren't you? You're fat, you aren't, aren't you? And you just get really depressed. And so depressed that I was managed to take all that depression into like a ball, like it's something out of Mortal Kombat. But instead of firing at someone, I fired at me, in which I got this burst of energy to be able to go and do a lot of dieting and fasting and lose, you know, get back at least down to 300 pounds. And uh, I, was, I was buzzing. But now the world has gone and, like, unshamed the fatness and that just because a couple of people got depressed from being called fat, even though you need to be depressed, and then turn that depression into a part of thunder. So you can go on your merry way or lose weight. But like I say, people, you know, in the news and fat models now and you know, everybody's not allowed to fat shame and fat is beautiful 
and, and all that crap, even though we know it isn't, you know, first off, your, your toes and your nails and your face, if you get fat fingers, you know, you're going to end up with uh, your fingers going inside and stuff like that, you know, they get flaps everywhere, you get these little skin tags and stuff, you know, it's, it's crazy, you know, then what if you get out of your bum to have a poo, you know, that's what happened to 600 pound people, it's terrible, it really is, but nobody's, nobody wants to um, look at all the bad stuff that happens with being fat. They just want to say you are beautiful. Well, you know. So, it's got in my brain, because my brain's like all this subconsciousness. I know there's a lot of bollocks, but my subconscious brain, the brain that basically, I say it's the anxiety brain, you know that anxiety thing is stuck in your brain trying to get out and do shit and say ah well, we're gonna listen to these people over here fat is beautiful don't lose weight nom 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 eat till you die that's what um, anxiety in my opinion is it's always trying to kill you for some reason it's a bit like cancer cancer you know it's the same thing cancer doesn't want to die does it but when it does stuff to you you know, basically, you end up dying, and so does the cancer. But, like, the cancer doesn't know, because it doesn't know what the universe is like. So, yeah, that's pretty much what I've got. I've got the anxiety part of my brain basically taking everything, what everybody's saying, that we know is a lot of shit, and making it, oh, it's okay. You know, it's time to, you know. Yeah, so pretty much that's it. Anyway, I do have a rave, 25th of uh, November. I went to two raves in, like, one day, one night, if you know what I mean. So I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or not. I am going to do it. I just don't know if, I don't know if I'm going to pass out or not. But I'm going to try and lose this £25 in between then and now, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, to be honest with you, because I just ain't got the motivation to do it. That's pretty much what it is. Zero motivation. Whew. This is my update on the multiverse, the snake diet thing. Doing crap. But, you know, I might get good by the end of the year. You never know. This is me, Trolley. See you in all the next update.